Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all doing well. I want to say welcome to everybody. I wanted to get up here and do a video on the Country Gal Kitchen Cow. It's that time. And show you guys what I made. And it is a crochet long that me and Ashley from Stitching Ain't Easy are hosting for like the remainder of the year. And it's all for fun. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. And I enjoy seeing everybody's what they've made and everything. They're all so cute. But um, anyway, uh, I'll put a link down below where you can go check out Ashley's channel and see what she's been making. And I've been making like the dish soap covers and the pot holders. And I did make, I think, a one dish towel hanger, which I, I got to make some uh, more. And uh, Ashley's been doing like the pot holders and, of course, the dish soap covers or whatever. You can just make whatever you want for like the kitchen and stuff. So... There's no set rules. It's just all for fun. We just like seeing what everybody else is making. But I'll put links down below where you, or a link down below where you can go uh, check out Ashley's channel. But anyway, this time I decided to go with one of my favorite flowers, and it is the sunflower. And uh, here it is. <laughs> I think it turned out really cute, and I had a lot of fun making it. Now this is a two designer pattern. <laughs> And what I mean is, this is part Sarah Sashes, and this is, I got my notes here, is a designer by, um, by the name of Tanya Bush. And she also has a blog and a YouTube channel, and it's Nana's Crafty Home. But I think her YouTube channel is called Tanya Bush. But anyway, and this part is hers. But um, I had a lot of fun making this, because like I said, I really love sunflowers. But I did it in... Uh, mainstay brown and it's all acrylic yarn 100% acrylic and I used a size 5 millimeter hook and then this is that Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway uh, Savron I think that's yeah Savron and you got like the back petals and the front petals so and then I did the green back here it's a scrap ball for the little bow to tie it with and then the little where well, you just hook it over the top so like I said, it was a lot of fun to make. And I think it looks like a sunflower. <laughs> you know, it's, I could see a whole bunch of these in different colors. Because there's like different colors of sunflowers. So I think it's really cute. And I'll put a link down below where you can find it over on uh, Sarah's uh, blog. It's a free pattern on her blog. And one to uh, Tanya's where you can find it there on her blog. Okay, now I, the other thing that I made is I made the sunflower pot holder. Now this is all 100% uh, cotton and it is uh, Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton in the colorway brown and this is in um, the colorway curry. Now she has it, Tanya, up on her channel where you she shows you how to make the petals. She also has a uh, I believe a tutorial on another part of her uh, channel in one of her videos where she shows you how to make the circle, but super easy to do. And I think it turned out really cute. Now, I didn't put two because she's got it where you make two of the brown, the center part, to give it more thickness, but I just did one because who this is going to, they're just going to use it for display. But I can also see this as a dish rag. Be really cool. <laughs> But a lot of fun to make. And I used a, I believe, a 5 millimeter hook on both of these. So, But I'll put links down below if you guys would like to go check it out and maybe make you a sunflower. I do. I love sunflowers. And, you know, they got, there's all different colors of ones and stuff. But I didn't get around to plant me any this year. So hopefully next year I'll get you some planted. But anyway, um, I'll also have some a couple of pictures at the very end here of some that were sent to me that way you guys can see them but and if you would like to send us one for us to uh, show you can either email them to us me and Ashley or you can find me over on Instagram or you can join my Facebook group and I'll have those linked down below now Ashley doesn't have any social media platforms she just has email so but anyway yeah it's a lot of fun seeing what everybody else makes and also I was going to say that um, if you guys are looking to maybe make some Christmas ornaments, I forgot to mention on my video the other day of the, all the, well, this last video of me making the Christmas items, that if you guys are interested in wanting to make some uh, Christmas ornaments and stuff, last year I did Vlogmas, and if I remember right, I think I made an ornament every day through Vlogmas, 
so I'll put a, the playlist down below if you want to go check it out and get a head start on making some uh, Christmas ornaments. <laughs> There's a lot of cute ones. I love making every one of them. And hopefully, good Lord willing, I'll be able to do Vlogmas again this year. I had a lot of fun doing it, so looking forward to that. But I'll put a the link down below where you guys can go check out the video where I made all the different ones if you're looking for some different cute uh, ornaments to make. But anyway, I'm going to hop off of here, and I'll put a link to Ashley's channel. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day, and I will be chatting to you guys real soon. <laughs>